Hi, Omar. Hi, Maria. Hey, did you get that research paper done? Yes, I found some really good books, a couple of excellent magazine articles in a library database, and a cool website that had great information. With all these good resources, my paper was pretty easy to write. So, why the sad face, Omar? Now I have to write the bibliography. My teacher calls it a works cited list. I know it's important to list all the sources I used in my paper to give credit to the authors, but I also know there are lots of rules for how each source has to be written down. <laughs> it won't be much fun. Don't worry, Omar. Just go to the OSLIS website and use Citation Maker. You just choose the type of source you use, like book, website, or magazine, and fill in the text boxes with information like author, title, publisher, date, and so on. It's an awesome tool that will save you time and frustration. Thanks, Maria. I'll give Citation Maker a try. Maria gave Omar a great tip. Let's see how Omar uses Citation Maker to create his works cited list. Okay, Maria said to go to oslis.org. I'm, I'm an elementary student, so I'll click here. Hmm, three choices. Cite my sources, that's what I need to do. And here's Citation Maker. I think I should bookmark this page so it'll be easy to get back to it. Okay, I wrote down all the information I think I'll need about each source I used, but I have my sources right here, just in case I forgot something. My first source is the book, The Honey Bee's Hive, and besides the title, I know I'll need the author, publisher, and publication date. Since this source is a book, I'll click on the book option in the purple source type column. There are a few examples at the top of the screen and even a link to more examples. That's helpful. Okay, first citation maker asks for how many authors. My book has just one, last name Markovix, first name Joyce. There's no middle name listed, so I'll just leave that box blank. Better make sure I spell her name correctly. Next, I have a lot of options for the title. My book did not have articles, plays, or poems, so I'll choose entire book. The title is The Honey Bee's Hive, A Thriving City. I know I have to capitalize all the main words. Oh, there's a link to how to capitalize and punctuate titles. That might come in handy. My book does not list an edition or volume number, so I'll skip those fields. But I see a note that says the edition box is where I would show that I used an ebook. Good to know for later. The publisher is Bearport Publishing, and the publication year is 2010. Now Citation Maker is asking me if my source was accessed online, like in a library database, or on a website. I used an actual book that I checked out from my library, so I'll pick no. It says my citation is complete. That's a good reminder to double check the spelling and capitalization. Now I'm ready to click on Create Citation Below. Wow, there's my citation. All done for me in the correct format. First source done. On to my next source. I found this Save the Bees article in a library database, but it was first printed in a magazine. I can tell because if I click on Science World Current Science, the database shows me the original format. So I'll choose Magazine or Newspaper Article from the Source Type column. The first box is about the author. Oh, wait, I don't see that an author is listed at the top. But I remember that the database suggested a citation at the bottom of the article. It lists the author there. Phew. I'll enter Barone, Jennifer, instead of leaving the author field blank. Title, I am citing a magazine article. Title of article, Save the Bees, How Scientists Hope to Help the Honey Bees That Pollinate Our Favorite Foods. Title of magazine, Science World, Current Science. Publication date, 18 April 2016. Pages, hmm. I don't see any page numbers, but the suggested citation at the bottom of the article says page 14 plus, so that's what I'll enter in Citation Maker. Was this accessed online? Yep, I found the article in a library database. Oh, now there are two more text boxes to fill in. The title of the database is Kids Infobits. The web address is really long. My librarian showed us how to copy the URL using the bookmark tool. 
That's much easier. Now I'll click on Create Citation Below. Earlier I saw a note saying not to include the HTTP in the web address. I forgot to take it out, but Citation Maker did it for me. Cool. That was pretty easy. Okay, my next source is a website. Wow. Looks like Citation Maker has every type of source covered. Audio and video recordings, images, interviews, field trips, events, email, and even social media. Citation Maker rocks! Back to citing my website. I did not see an author listed, so I'll select No Author Anonymous. Title of article or web page. B. Title of website. San Diego Zoo Animals and Plants. Publisher. Hmm. Who is the publisher anyway? I see San Diego Zoo at the top of the page, but that's part of the website title. Let me click around. Oh, at the bottom, it shows that the organization responsible for the website is San Diego Zoo Global. That makes them the publisher. Next, Citation Maker asks if I could determine a date the website was created, published, or updated. At the bottom of the page, it shows 2018 as the copyright date, so I'll go with that. Now I'll copy and paste the web address, and I'm all done with this citation. Hi Omar, how's your Works Cited page coming? Great Maria, I'm almost done. Looks like you need to click the Sort All button to put your citations in alphabetical order. Good catch! Now you can save your citations as a Word, Pages, or Google Document. What are you using? I'm using Word. Wow, here's my Works Cited list all done. Wasn't that easy? Sure was. Thanks for telling me about Citation Maker. I'll be using it for every project. Citation Maker made it easy for Omar to create a bibliography. Notice that he created it after writing his paper. What if Omar forgot to include a source? No problem. He can use Citation Maker to create a citation for the additional source and then copy and paste the citation into the correct spot in his bibliography. Another way you can use Citation Maker is to create a citation for each source after taking notes from it, adding them to your saved bibliography as you go along. Be sure to put them in alphabetical order. You may have noticed that some online sources provide their own citation, but sometimes they do not follow proper format. Ask your teacher if it's okay to copy it, or just use Citation Maker. Omar will definitely use Citation Maker for his next research project. You should too. For specific examples and for more information about this topic and the entire research process, explore OSLIS. Thank you to Bearport Publishing for granting permission to use their book in this video. OSLIS. Learn to research. Research to learn.